good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's version of uh, Dwayne Marino. That's me, Autoversity. And uh, tip for today is going to be about how to close more sales using humor. Humor is uh, perhaps the most overlooked and not to be uh, underestimated aspect of selling. Um, listen, anybody who sold anybody anything, how much easier is it to close and you know sell if you've got some humor going? Now, here's some uh, keys to getting humor into your transactions. First off, uh, do it early, but not too early. You don't want to be perceived as being a joker. And you want to make the first joke about yourself. So if I'm on my game and I'm outside, I might, uh, you know, there might be a little bit of wind and I'll say something like, um, oh wow, it's windy, how's my hair? Or I might make a comment about, you know, covering my head up and, uh, you know, I don't need an umbrella, but should I grab you one? The thing with humor is if the first joke is about yourself, it could be, you know, your last name, how you sound, how you look, um, you're something about your personality, something about you're not good at. A, it relaxes people because you look comfortable in your own skin. And um, B, you get to find out if they have a sense of humor and you can start to build on it from there. Never make the first joke anything risky or anything um, about the customer. Other aspect is you want to incorporate humor into your uh, sales process. So you've got a few you know, standard places where you can uh, see if you can get some laughs. In selling cars, I would say there's four times that I like to uh, try to get some humor going. Uh, one is maybe at the trunk. You know, if they like to golf, the, uh, the joke is uh, how many golf balls do you think you can get back here? If you say, what do you normally put in the trunk? And uh, she says, grocery bags. I say, you know, taking a guess, um, how do you think, uh, how many watermelons and tomatoes could we get back here? Something silly and a little bit, uh, you know, unexpected, uh, not risky. Let's see if they start giggling, okay? Uh, looking to the interior of the car. You know, do you use the back seat much? Uh, that could be taken both ways. Anybody ever called you on it, you'd go, what? Pervert? <laughs> I didn't mean that. Just wondering if you ever have any kids or anything back there. But if you say it with the right tone and facial expression, you can have a lot of fun with that, depending on the customer, of course. Be very careful how you use this. Um, uh, third one is when you, uh, you know, somebody says, what's the size of the motor? Or, you know, could I show you the engine or something like that? And you say, hey, listen, before I pop the hood, I'm pretty sure the engine is about this big. And you make a gesture with your arms. Uh, that's usually good for a few laughs. And the last one is, um, you know, looking at the trade-in. You say, do you mind if I pop your hood? So you pop the hood and you go, oh, thank goodness. And they go, what? And you go, it's got a motor. Anything you can do to get some laughter going. What's happening <clears throat> on the psychological level is bonding there. People don't laugh with people if they don't like them. And the other thing that happens is uh, you're literally changing their biochemistry. You're pushing out the stress hormones of cortisol and adrenaline and you're replacing it with oxygen and endorphins. Big difference. Last point I want to make about humor. When you're closing the sale, if you're trying to make a joke during the close, <clears throat> excuse me, and you've not made any jokes yet, uh, the joke is going to be the close that doesn't work. You've got to build on humor from the beginning, and when you are closing, you know, if there are some problems that are happening in the transaction, if you had humor going, you can pretty much turn objections into jokes and then bypass them. Anyways, bring some humor into your day, into your life.